today I will show you how to make this distortion portal effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright, so here I have a clip of Osamason from the 3x music video. And now what we can do is just press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And we can cut it up by pressing Ctrl Shift D to the size of the clip or shorter or longer. You can have a couple of clips here, it doesn't really matter, I just have one. And now we can just start adding the effects. So the first effect I like to add here is S Warp bubble now i like to make the amplitude to 0.18 at the start and the frequency to six yeah that's starting to look good this is also going to help us get like a kind of a really nice distortion not the puddle effect but it's going to be a really cool effect so i'm just going to keep him the amplitude here and the frequency here i can actually show you what this effect does so if you go to the ending actually let's go to the full ending and here i can make the amplitude to zero and the frequency to zero i can show you what this effect does the effect does basically this it's a really cool effect and already a really nice effect to just have so yeah uh i don't even know how to say what this does actually it's like maybe a puddle I, I don't even know actually but yeah we can just keep adding more of these effects so for this effect you actually need the sapphire plugin and for most of these effects you will need the sapphire plugin uh now i will add s distort uh, chroma which is one of my favorite distortion effects and this is also one of the most popular distortion effects and here i like to make the blur lens like really high to like 600 and i'm gonna make the amount at the start to 0 0.26 i'll also keyframe it at the start and i'm gonna go to the ending and at the ending i'll make it maybe like 0.02 i'm just making it very random actually and yeah it will basically cause this distortion you will see the colors basically now uh if you want you can make the warp red a bit lower like 0.3 it doesn't really matter i like to make it a bit lower sometimes and now we can add u saturation because i like to desaturate the clip i think it looks a bit cooler uh so here i like to make the mass saturation to minus 50 and yeah, that's starting to look really nice and now we can add as hot spots now you might be thinking why did we just add this this is so dark now we can just make it at the start to zero like the threshold and we can keep in both the threshold and blur input to zero but we can go to the ending uh, actually even more to the ending like maybe here and i'm gonna make the blur input here to like five and the threshold to like 0 0.5 so now it's like getting very darker at the end i kind of like it like it, because the distortion starts at the start right here but hot spots the darkness starts at the ending i really think that adds some depth into it uh, i'm actually going to press u right now i will select both of these keyframes that we made from the s hotspots and i'll press f9 because i want to do the graph a bit earlier i'm going to hold on one of the threshold keyframes i'll go to the graph editor and i'll just make the threshold graph like this you don't have to do this by the way i just kind of like to do this like this yeah that's good uh, go out of there i'll go to the blur graph i'll make it maybe like this yeah pretty good doesn't really matter what you do to be honest uh, actually we can do it for others as well like we can select all of these press f9 i'm going to go to the s war bubble and here i'm gonna do a bit of a different graph so i'm gonna make it like this at the start i might extend it like this so we get like still extensive puddle i'll, I'll call it puddle this i'll exit out of here i'll go to frequency and for the frequency you can actually make it go down kind of faster yeah like that and i'm gonna go to as distort chroma and i think chroma looks really nice when you make it go down pretty fast but not the fastest actually i'm gonna make it go down like this so this is how the effect looks already that is looking really cool but we can actually just keep adding so let's exit out the graph and here i will add turbulent displays now for this you actually don't need any plugins so you can chill out and i'm going to keep him the amount of the start and i will make the size to 300 to distort a bit more and i will keep him the size as well uh one cool thing you can do with the turbulent display places you can go to the ending of the clip and you can make the amount to like two but don't change the size here we can press u again to see a keyframe change we made we can select it press f9 go to graph editor i guess make it just something like this you know just almost whatever graph you want I i'm making it like that to make it a bit smoother but you can do whatever you want now let's add warp now as you can see that's not how we want it to look so let's go to the warp style and choose fisher now at the start it looks kind of cool when you're setting it to 50 but you can go like one two maybe three frames forward and here we can set it to zero while keyframing it of course now let's go one two frames maybe forward yeah we can set it to 10 now we can go one two yeah maybe three frames forward set it to zero now go one two set it to five and go to the ending and set it to zero now this will also make like an artificial puddle i don't know how to say it it will basically make it go up and down and up and down but that's still not the puddle effect although you could also count it as the puddle effect but for the actual 
actual puddle effect we need to add s warp puddle now the star is going to look like this so you really don't want it to look like that so you need to make the frequency quite lower so i like to make it to like three stars look already a bit better and you can change the roll height to make it a bit lower but i will just keep it as what it is and i'll make the amplitude at the start to minus 0.02 i think that's a really nice start and at the starting frame you just need to keep framing like this now we can go like one frame forward i guess and here we can make it to like 0.05 it's gonna look like that now we can go a bit frames forward maybe like right here and uh, here we can make it to minus 0.01 go a bit forward here we can make it to 0.02 go forward and here we can make it to minus 0.008 yeah that's better now let's go a bit forward and here we can set it to zero so this is the puddle effect you will have the actual way i made it at the first time i can show you the exact settings uh i'm gonna press you this was the first time i, I basically did everything i just showed you but at the start i made the s4 puddle to minus 0 0.2 oh i went two frames forward and here i made it to 0 0.5 then i went two frames forward again i made it to zero two frames forward i made it to 0 0.2 three frames forward then i made it to zero and then two frames forward i made it to 0 0.1 and then at the ending i made it to zero so that might be a bit better actually and, and this is how to look if you do like that yeah that looks maybe better actually i, I have no idea yeah you, you might like it like that you might like it like not and what you can do is also you can press u you can go to one of the effects press ctrl a select all of the effects keyframes that you made and go to animation save animation preset and here you can call it the distortion puddle press save and whenever you want to have this effect you will just be able to go to effects and presets and just drag and drop this preset and you will be able to have the effect already now if you want to have more effects that you can just drag and drop instantly and just have them already on your clip then i have a publicos.com website where i have plenty of presets that do exactly just that and one of the packs that i think fits the most of this style is my flicker presets pack which is a very popular pack right now so i'm going to press ctrl y and show you a couple of these presets so if you go to effects and presets and type flicker you can just go here and if you have the pack you can just drag and drop whatever preset you want so for example flicker heavies work fantastically well with this because this is like a puddle effect keep in mind you do need to have also a another plugin which is called deep glow but most of you should probably have it it's going to be very dark sometimes and very glowy where i'm gonna see how this actually looks and this how it looks of the flicker heavy four here as you can see that's a really huge flicker i mean we can add it below to test it out yeah below it's gonna have a bit of a different impact oh my yeah that looks really good yeah you might want to set it even below if you want like a really easy to use pack then i really recommend to check out the flicker presets pack and if you guys also want i have a five dollar discount code for supporting the channel which is called bovicas yeah you can use it to save five dollars off on the flicker presets pack or any other pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.